Hey what's up YouTube, Sam here with Custom PC Review and today I'm going to show you how to install a CPU and memory. Before we begin, please ensure you have the motherboard, a compatible CPU, and compatible memory. The first step is to remove the motherboard from the motherboard box and place it on a non-static surface such as the top of your motherboard box. The next step is to find the CPU socket on the motherboard. If you purchased your motherboard new, it should also include a socket cover as shown in this video. Next, push the lever down and to the right to release the CPU locking mechanism. Then, push the lever up to open the CPU socket. You may now remove the CPU socket cover. Next, take a look at the CPU. As you can see, the CPU includes two notches. Additionally, you will see a small triangle on the bottom left side of the CPU. These notches and the triangle will ensure that you install the CPU the correct way. While only touching the sides or corners of the CPU, you may now drop the CPU into the socket. Make sure you do not touch the top or bottom of the CPU as the oil from your hands may affect the CPU's performance. Now, you may drop the lever and push it to the bottom and to the left to lock the CPU into place. The next step is to install the CPU heatsink fan. For today's video, we will be installing the stock heatsink fan included with the CPU. Next, drop the CPU heatsink fan onto the CPU ensuring that the heatsink fan's four pins match up with the four holes on the motherboard. Now, you may push down on the four pins until you hear a click. This means that the heatsink fan is now locked into place. Next, find the four pin header on your motherboard that says CPU fan. This is where you will plug in the 4-pin connector for the CPU fan. Next, we will install the memory. This motherboard and CPU uses dual-channel memory, so if you have two sticks of memory, make sure to consult your motherboard manual to figure out what two slots to use. Typically, this is either slot 1 or slot 3. If you do not, you will experience drastically reduced performance. There should be text on the motherboard itself identifying the memory slots. On this particular motherboard, we will install the memory into the first two slots. This will allow us to fully utilize dual channel performance. When actually installing the memory, ensure that the notch on the memory corresponds with the notch on the memory slot. This will prevent you from installing the memory backwards. Give your memory a gentle push on both sides until the clips on the sides lock into place. Congratulations! You have now successfully installed the CPU and the RAM. If this video helped you at all, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more.